Hey guys, this is Luca Pretolesi. We are in Las Vegas, a studio DMI. We do electronic music, EDM, and our room is built around exactly what we need, which is an hybrid between mixing and mastering. I cannot wait to show you some ideas and share some tips and tricks. Check it out. The initial conversion from digital to analog is crucial. I want to have the best possible source from the beginning of my chain till the end. Whatever I'm going to do later, I'm going to amplify what is not right or what is right. I want to amplify what is right. So extremely happy with the conversion of the Convert 2. Uh, what I was looking for many years was an expensive sound. It, how can I describe the expensive sound? A natural conversion, no hype but with body. And I feel that when a converter start to try to give you more on the top, more than the bottom, make it feel something from the beginning, that's the point that you start to question yourself. I need to listen to my car, I need to listen on my other pair of speaker. No, I want to have a converter that really translate well everywhere. That's why the step two of the Convert 2 was the flexibility, not only to be able to in some way translate one source, but translate multiple sources. Our application here at the studio is just dedicate mastering DA. And we want to be able, during the mastering process, to plug a laptop and just compare our mastering with a reference. And again, with the same conversion, so with the same DA. And also be able to do it with no latencies. So I don't have to stop one application, play another one, and or patch and repatch. I just want to be able to go A and B. So in this case, I have my laptop going my USB input of the Convert 2. And I'm able to jump from there to another computer. It's totally separate, it's another rig, but that is coming out from the same conversion. So that showed me the flexibility. Point three is metering. So final stage of metering it's essential, especially on dance music where when we think mastering, we think about how loud we can get and retain dynamics. There's always this little fight between I want to have a loud master and retain dynamics. And to me, have an eye always on RMS allow me to just focus on the vibe, on the mix, and just take a look at what's going on in real time on my final stage. That's a good way to compare my master with the reference. Because I'm run uh, an hybrid setup when I have a lot of software-based stuff, whatever I can do to minimize the use of software for analog gear, that's what I'm really looking for. Guys, it was great to have you here at Studio DMI in Las Vegas. Luca Pertolesi, bye-bye.